Hello everybody, welcome to this new episode um, of this series on networking. In today's episode I am going to demonstrate how to set up a network um, with the protocol OSPF. So the theme, the subject today uh, is dynamic routing. I already made a video uh, where I explained or demonstrate how to set up a network uh, with the protocol RIP routing and information protocol um, that was just for yeah exercise purposes because um, it's a protocol that is not being used in today's uh, networks so I'm going to set up a network with um, three routers I'm going to choose the 2911 series of routers so let's take um, another router here and wait there oops should be able to select this at least and paste yeah so we have three routers router 0 router two and let's call this router three okay zero one or better two <laughs> zero one and two we have these three routers and in each end we're going to set up a computer that will represent the network that could be a switch and more computers but for the sake of this exercise to keep it simple I'm going to set uh, computers in those areas now I'm going to connect the routers by uh, um, crossover cable I will try to connect uh, interface 1 with interface 1 and interface 2 with interface 2 so um, now let's connect the computers also as well this computer goes onto this router and this one also here finally um, this computer goes over here so now we have our physical layout physical cabling in place the next thing I need to do is to determine the addressing scheme so for the addressing scheme I will then randomly pick up some um, address ranges uh, the only requirement that I want to have is that um, those networks uh, in between the routers they should be um, with a CID annotation slash 30 so that we only have two available IP addresses and that way we optimize the usage of IP addresses for the rest I will choose a 26 a 25 bit mask so let's get started the 10 to 0 dot 100 let's say 128 slash 25 here we could set up 200 let's say uh, 168 dot um, 10.128 um, I'm sorry that is 252 slash 30 for this one we can take uh, 100 um, 100 128 um, dot 128 slash 25 uh, this network over here we can set up 172.168.20.252 slash 30 and this one here we can take um, something like 168.100.10.128 slash 26 25 sorry and finally we have the 
of something that we didn't have before, the 192, 192.168.100.20 slash 25. So now the addressing is in place. I mean, it is defined. We just need to configure in the routers. So let's get started. I'm going to do that. I'm going to connect. I'm going to grab a laptop first of all. I will grab a laptop and this laptop I will come connect onto the first router, the router zero actually, via the console port. And I'm going to start configuring this router over here. I connect um, via the terminal here and then I say no enable conf t um, host name that would be the routers zero um, IP host um, domain sorry domain name there will be answers of NFT then we need to configure the line um, VTY so that I <coughs> what I'm doing now is preparing the SSH service therefore I need uh, to determine how many VTYs I will allow the password for those VTYs and say Cisco um, username <coughs> sorry um, username that will be address that's what I'm the username I will use to connect to the remote sessions via SSH um, secret secret uh, Cisco okay I would like also to enable some uh, encrypting some um, service for encryption password encryption and now I need to create the um, generate the key for the encryption of the SSH session that we do with crypto um, gen crypto keys uh, generate RSA general keys 1040 now our SSH is enabled next thing I will do is um, they enable they enable hmm, wait a minute. enable mm, secret that will be Cisco oops uh, okay enable sec hmm, enable secret Cisco right wait a minute mm, Maybe I need to do this in configure mode. Enable, oops, sorry, conf t. We are in conf t, right? Enable secret Cisco, right? Yeah, that's it. So this enable secret uh, Cisco is uh, just the enabled password, right? There we are. If I, I am in user mode and I go enable then it will ask me a password that's what I just did so that's done for the um, remote sessions the next thing that I want to do is to configure the interfaces the IP addressing so let's get started on interface gigabit 0 slash 1 we have um, conf t interface gigabit 0 slash 1 the IP address that we're gonna set is gonna be the 10 .0 .0 .0. Oh, sorry. 0 um, 0.0.0. Oops, sorry. 0.100.129 with the mass 255.255.128. Not shut down. On the interface mm, 2, it will say IP address 192.168. 100.20 uh, sorry that 
is 252 actually, 253 with the mass 255, 255, oh, 255, 252 actually. No chart down. I just label it here cor uh, incorrectly. That should be 252 with the mass uh, uh, 30. So now we have this here. Um, what else? Mm, how many interfaces did I configure so far? The two, the zero, the one. So I, I missed the zero dot zero. That'll be IP address two hundred dot one six eight dot ten dot two fifty three with a mass two five five two five five two five five two fifty two. No shut down to bring it up, and that's it. That's it for this uh, router. Now we'll take a look at the running configuration to see what we can show running config to see what we can reuse, probably for another configuration on the router. Uh, let's see if I can check out something, show running comfy, yes. So if I copy this into my notepad, I mean the text editor here, I can check out, okay now I think I can just log out and configure also this computer directly connected so that we can at least make the first ping, 10.0.0 um sorry a hundred one thirty on the mask two five five two five five one twenty eight and actually I should be able to ping already my default gateway at least um 10.0.100.129 and it responds that's very good so far so good now i have my configuration in my notepad and i'm going to move on to this other router which is the uh, router actually okay let's go in in, in the order this is router 1, so I'm going to log in into the router 1, right? I log into router 1, I say no to this thing, I say enable, I say conf t, and now I go back to my notepad and see what I can use this old configuration for. So we see we have something here that says wielding blah blah blah, we can just remove all these things. Perhaps this line I can use to say that my router is going to be called router1. I might not need these things here. Um, the secret password, all those things, yes. This is something that I can reutilize. Um, just keep some more. I can use uh, on the interface zero, 0, which is the one we have over here. I think I can just um, add one to this IP address and I can use the same one. Uh, interface 1 is going into this direction, so my interface 1 will be um, 172, 168, 20, uh, 253, and the mass for that interface will be 252. As for the interface 2 of this router, I have IP address Um, 100, 100 again, um, 128, 
and 129 and this mask should be the 128 so that will be for the interface 2 over here then I don't want to configure virtual lands or things like that I don't need nothing of this I'm not going to configure these lines at all but this can be very important to configure the the VTYs um, I don't understand this why password 7 whatever we'll see okay and mm, I think I forgot something I I forgot to bring up those interfaces not shut down right so that I bring <coughs> after configuring the IP I would like to not shut uh, shut down these interfaces in other words I want to bring them up not shut down and it seems like it could do the job for what I need so I just copy that and paste it into my router and now we see that at least the um, the setup for um, for the, the host name has applied now we see that is router one mm, what I don't know is what happened to the VTY actually because I was supposed to we'll see anyways uh, the interfaces they seem to be okay show IP routes we have um, show running config we have the interfaces configured they seem to be okay so yeah um, now I can configure the whole store here give it an IP address so that it can at least ping its default gateway so we do it 100 dot 100 again dot 128 dot 120 uh, 130 all right and this mask will be 255 255 128 and the default gateway will be the 129 let's try to make a simple ping to my default gateway uh, 100.128.129 and it replies properly so now we can move on to the next router and in this router I'm going to try the same trick as we did before so this time I will um, call this router router2 I will just uh, modify the IP addresses for the interface 00, zero. we have uh, sorry mm. for this interface we have 168.100.10.129 and the mask will be 128 for the interface 1 we have the exact same with a higher number and for the interface 2 we have here something which is the 192.168.200.254 right and the mass will be 252 so that should be for this router down here which is the one I just connected the router oh I'm sorry I think I have to connect to uh, router 2 now right so I think I already moved my laptop to this router down here if I just connect via terminal I say no enable conf t and paste 
what I have in my notepad. Now I end up with a router 2, which should have um, a running configuration with some things that I configure, like three interfaces. So finally, I will uh, set up the IP for this router here, I mean for this computer, and that will be the 168.100.10.130, um, 255.255.255.128, and finally this will be 129, and if I just ping my network, uh, ping the 168.100.10.129, it replies. So far so good. The only problem is that I can only ping so far my default gateway. If I try to go a little bit farther and ping this network, what will happen? Let's see. 192.168.100.254, um, right? This is directly connected. Um, that is 168.100.254. If I go to the 253. So I cannot reach those networks. Let's try to the other side. Ping uh, 172.168.20.253. If I'm pinging this network over here, nothing happens, right? get a timeout. So what if I ping from the router itself? So if I go and ping, let's say, um, this interface here, or let's ping one IP address from this network directly connected, one and two, one six eight dot hundred dot two fifty three. that resolves, 254 that resolve because it's directly connected. But at the moment I try to ping another interface or even a host like this host right here. One twenty eight twenty nine actually. Then we have a timeout, right? Or a failure. So success rate zero. So nothing happened because we don't have a routing protocol yet implemented. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So how do I do that? First of all, um, just make this a little bit bigger. Not so big, I want to keep in the network in check. So let's get started. Um, I will have to go into configuration mode and from here I will issue the command router OSPF. If you just the ID for this one will be the 10. Okay, now I have to advertise my networks network. But before that actually I, I would like to before that, I would like to say um, show route, no. show protocols, right? No, oops. Show, show IP protocols. So in show IP protocols, we don't see that's the OSPF uh, routing protocol is, is set up, but we don't have networks added to it, right? If I say show um, running config, 
um, I will take from the running column see my addresses so I keep the exact addresses of my interfaces here in check so conf t I can go back to uh, router OSPF 10 right and I can advertise my networks I will say that my network this is going to be my first network the network, the network um, 28 with the mask um, sorry the network yes 28 what else do we need uh, we need the mask 255.255.255.128 this network um, belongs to the area 0 right so that's how we do it for the first network for the second network we're gonna copy this whole thing and I say network um, it's not IP address but a network and this is going to be area 0 as well and the third one I just have to keep my the third one will be again network this network network IP again area 0 so if I just go now into privilege mode and show running configuration okay we actually what I want to see is uh, show IP protocols if I show IP protocols now we see our router has an ID it's no IP but the ID it has chosen the highest IP address connected directly connected to my router and yeah we have three advertising networks here right so that's all for this router now we have to move into another one so let's test our connection I will test my connection uh, my SSH connection let's see if that works SSH from the two Andres going to the 9192.168.100.253 uh, I guess yes that's router 0 so our SSH is up and running hopefully yes that as well so we do the exact same thing here we show running configuration um, I will take the addresses then I go conf t then I go um, router OSPF uh, 10 and then I advertise the first network to be this one here uh, I need to make sure that this is not an IP address but a network area 0 I do the same for the second one which is this one over here um, mm -hmm. this is on uh, the network address area 0 and I do the exact same thing for the third one over here and this is going to be two of the area <coughs> zero if I go back and show now we see that things are loading it's now connecting with the other our router which is already advertising uh, OSPF packets uh, if I go just show show IP protocol protocols we see again we have three networks here and it is already uh, learning stuff from other networks for instance it knows now um, 192 200 well it doesn't know much special but <laughs> okay now we can move on to the 
router uh, one and how we do that I'm just going to ssh minus l address and the ip of that router could be 200 uh, 168.10.254 i guess um something is not working with this uh link is that 200 168 10 252 253 maybe um doubt it seems like we i am logging into my own router that's not what i want to do it should be 54 it doesn't work i won't uh lose more time and just try to work with my s2 no okay no problem uh, something went wrong there i must i must have missed uh, one little something to get that um ssh working so i will connect here by this way and or maybe i was already i don't know anyway i'm a little bit lost uh let's um set up uh ospf here in this router so enable oh, cisco conf t oh, before i think i want to say show running conf and then conf t router ospf pen network this network over here oops copy this network we just do the exact same procedure for all orders to area zero the next one which is this one network to oops something oh um conf t um router ospf 10 and i wanted to do this to add this latest network to area zero and the third one which was this over here yeah it's already um picking up advertisements from all the routers so now we can um i mean configuration mode so that would be 28 area zero so cho cho uh, running configuration in the mode uh, show running configuration now actually show um ip route now ip protocols better so ip protocols again we already have the three networks here all of them are area zero all the ips are different and by now i should be able to ping all over the place let's take a look if i take a ping from here to the 10.0.100.129 10 i'm pinging from this uh, device this interface i will ping the network the, 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 the workstation this pc it responds i'm on the pc one right yes this is the pc which i have now i will ping this computer right here ping uh, 100. 100.128.129 which is the interface the computer and yeah that's basically it that's basically that is how you set up an OSPF network there are little things that we can check for instance if we run a simulation 
we see the package going the OSPS packets going all over the place they are just traveling from one router to another you can see the advertisement protocol working and yeah that seems to work uh, yeah that is it uh, thanks for watching I hope it was uh, helpful and um, cheers